Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Optimism. Yeah, it's been a few days, um, but Optimism did drop below this um, yeah, yellow support area based on the assumption the wave three could have been here. Um, and then by measuring the length of that, then we get these Fibonacci retracements that you can see on the screen, which go down to 199. Now, the problem that we have now is that this support level breaks or broke. So I looked at, you know, is there another chance really to to count this um, pattern and this, this structure? Well, I think there is, um, but it's a bit of a different count I would have to add. I would have to understand it in a way of a one, two, one, two, and then one, two setup. So basically I have to assume that this third wave never finished. So I will modify the count. We have to modify the count after this one broke, obviously. Um, yeah, I mean, you could argue this is now basically a three wave move and it is to the upside and surely this could go down and make new lows now, but it's too early to really focus on that too much. As long as also Bitcoin, in my opinion, is holding support, um, we can just try to identify here where we are. So with that structure that we've seen here, um, I cannot anymore assume that we've already, um, that we have already completed this, this third wave. So I'm going to add a subwave structure here and I'm counting the move of those November lows as a wave one. And let me see. Yeah, leading diagonal in a wave one, then here a wave two to the downside. Then we've got enough waves to count this year as a five wave move all the way here to that messy top. And we're basically now in a fourth and could still get a fifth, but that would be a fifth of the third in my opinion. So it can still push higher, but let's actually check if it can, um, let's actually check if it is still above the support area also based on this count. So one second, oh, what did I do? Okay, yeah, let's just add the FIB. So basically the idea here with this wave count is that you had an overshooting B wave here. Unfortunately, that happens quite frequently in a fourth wave. The assumption would be we could still be in a fourth, but let me first draw the FIBs because I think it's getting quite tight now as well here. So if I draw the FIBs like that, oh yeah, I have to go to the top of the third which was based on this count here at 251, right? So as long as it's holding here 169, it could still give us a fifth wave. Now it's getting quite close to the to the threshold here. Uh, let me, first of all, I'm gonna add this as an orange support area because it has dropped quite a bit and there's no sign of stopping. So at the moment, the idea could be, okay, we are on our way down in a fourth wave. It can, again, it can hold 169 and still give us a fifth wave. Below 169, this will get unlikely. And we need to think about what else could it be then, you know? Um, but this is certainly what I mean is this is the next support. First of all, it's the 50% retracement level that is relevant for a fourth wave. And we've got here previous support around that level. You know, plus minus a few cents doesn't really matter. So I'm talking about this swing low here from the 19th of January, which is in a similar region. So based on the count, I would have to, I would have to um, see the move to them. Let me just think here. I would probably have to see this as an A wave, B wave, C wave to the downside. And then we can get also an idea of the Fibonacci extensions that we're currently reaching. So it's quite a strong extension. Yeah. That's why it's orange, because it's dropped a little bit more than it would be ideal. I mean, in an alternative count, we might see this as a, but if you have another one too set up, it's getting unrealistic. But this is probably best what I can tell at the moment based on this, right? And then we've got support in that 169 region. I mean, if I'm adding the other the other FIPS, yeah, so just to understand <clears throat> what would be the key FIP level below the 50%, but that's nothing that's still reliable in terms of a fourth wave. 
So we've got key Fibonacci levels then at 149 and 121 or 122. 122 is going to be very strong support because this is where we had those previous wave ones. But I would say this is getting quite unreliable below 169 and we then need to th uh, seriously, seriously think about um, that we might actually continue our way down and make a new low in the bear market. But at the moment it's too far away, can't see it yet. It's of course something we need to keep in mind because in the end um, we've had only three waves to the upside really. Yeah, It's not a five wave move, not a complete five wave move yet. So it should really escalate still higher. I mean, it's one of the coins that made a new all-time high in the in the bear market, which is quite noteworthy. If we look at the indicators, the four hour shows us already a reduction in negative momentum on the MACD, but it's not strong enough yet. And to be honest, the micro count still suggests further downside. On the RSI, on the four hour, we are now massively oversold similar to the region where we had that previous wave too low here back in December, <clears throat> we had a significant rally. And also in similar ways where we had this swing low, yeah, which was also a wave two back in October, significant rally. And then here, that was not a significant rally, this low in November, it was still a decent rally. Well, okay, it might, yeah, you could argue 76 cents to $1.10 is also quite substantial. So yeah, I mean, we are now in a region where you would expect a bounce at some point, but it needs a bit of a catalyst. At the moment, what I see here is not yet convincing. Surely this could bottom, but it's too early. And so far only three waves up, but a nice reversal candle, but it now needs to break. Um, but it would need to, it would need to show us more. It, I need the five waves up, the three waves down. Um, until then, my focus will be on lower. Now you could possibly use here this trend line. You can, can we draw a trend line? Not really something, nothing reliable, I would say broadly maybe, but it doesn't really, it's not very well defined. So yeah, for me at the moment, uh, focus remains here on the downside. At the moment, you would normally say the very first signal that you get, because we don't have much structure here, but you say normally the very first signal that you get that something is reversing, if the chart is breaking above the 50% retracement. So if it now rallies above 198, 199, um, impulsively, that would be the first good signal that we have bottomed possibly here in the fourth wave. So remember the, the other levels that are highlighted to you, but the 169 level is going to be next key support. So far at this stage, there is no reversal signal yet, but I will keep uh, observing that for you. And in all likelihood that way five should at least go above 247, 248. It needs to go above that third wave and ideally it goes above 330. Okay, that's my update about um, optimism. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.